Hello, Shoe Fist Productions, back again. Got another video for you, leading on from the last video, which was basically a sort of pallet and foot pound test. We tried a PCP rifle, put all different pallets through it, and, and measured the output. And the general consensus was um, the heavier the pallet, the more the foot poundage on that particular gun, anyway. And that contradicted what I'd done previously on a little Springer pistol, where the heavier the weight was less power. So we're going to do a lot more testing, and today what we're going to do is. Uh, We've got a cheap Chinese Springer under lever air rifle, um, just the cheapest sort of gun you can get. We're going to try it out all the different pallets and see whether that was the type of gun or whether the Springer will repeat what the PCP rifle done. And as us Christmas, a little Christmas bonus for you, I'm just going to show you this little gun. Um, it's, it's a sort of kid's gun really, it's a, it's a Daisy, I believe it's a Daisy par line. Uh, it's definitely a par line. Okay, anyway, so we think that's a daisy anyway. So what it is, that's basically a kid's gun. That's a pump up thing, that's got this thing here, you give it 10 pumps. Um, there's no point giving it more because it's got like this valve inside it, just sort of go pshht. And uh, that's, that's a bit um, a bit of a palaver loading it and using it, but that's what makes it a bit of fun. So you've got this little lever there, you just pull back, and it's got this uh, little five shot magazine. So you load that up, uh, you put it in, it's got, you just feel the slight click, you push that forward uh, and you pull the trigger and it shoots. Um, not very powerful, um, probably less just under a foot pound, um, but what we're going to do, just for fun, we're going to try it out with all the different weight pallets, but just out of fun, just to see what that do as well. So that's that. I bought it at an auction, another one of my auction guns that needed repairing, uh, just needed a new ring, and you can buy a brand new one like this, more or less, for about 50 quid now, so I paid way too much for it, but it's great fun, I like it and um, we'll do the power test after we're done with Springer. So we'll catch you in a minute when we've got the crony all lined up and uh, we'll start the testing. Okay guys, we're going to get this crony all set up. Um, first pellets, RWS Superdome, 14.5 grain. And these are all 2-2s obviously. RWS Superdome, 14.5 grain. We have 7.48 foot pound, 482 feet per second. Right, next up, Umarex Mosquitoes, 12.8 gram. So here we go, Umarex Mosquitoes, 12.8 gram. And we have 8.47 foot pound, 546 feet per second. Okay, next up, Superfield, 15.9 grain. These are the ones that were, I can't use them ever again. What I'll do, I'll watch the video back and analyse all the results and uh, we'll take it from there. Here we go, 15.9 uh, grains to RWS Superfields. 6.87 foot pound, 441 feet per second. Bit of a strange one. Okay, these are heavy babies. 18 grains, Diablo field heavy. Oh, air arms, 18 grains. Okay, here we have now coming up the Diablo field heavy. 18 grains. Okay, here we go with the big boys. 18 grains. Oh, it sounded loud. 7.63 foot pound, 437 feet per second. RWS Hobby Sportline 11.9 grain. 11.9 grains coming up. 8.32 foot pound, 561.4 feet per second. What's out there, Roy? Right, these are BSA interceptors 15.43 grain. BSA interceptors 15.43. 6.69 foot pound, 441.9 feet per second. Next up, RWS Super H point, 14.2 grain. RWS Super H, 14.2. 7.16 foot pound, 476.8 feet per second. Okay, 
And last but not least, my favourite Spitfires pointers. Funny enough, I slated these pallets last time, and looking at them, they actually got a little bubble waste on them. Um, they actually produced the fastest, if that's the right term, the fastest, the most velocity. And uh, could be something to do with the point, the way the waist is shaped, I don't know. So, uh, oh, can you remember the weight on them? No. I we'll have to get these weight checked again. Okay, Spitfires, 11.6. Got one loaded. It's a bit fire, 11.6. 8.46 foot pound, 573.1 feet per second. That's pretty impressive for them, isn't it? I'm just going to put another one around for you just to double check because having slagged these, they actually, on this rifle, they actually seem alright. 8.58 foot pound, so that was no fluke, 577.4 feet per second. Wow. Okay. No. Okay, that was the um, monkey shot test on the Springer air rifle. I'll have to watch the video back and analyse the results and just write it down and report back on it and I'll do a little conclusion at the end on, uh, on the results. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, um, we've done all the testing, um, just doing this little bit as a conclusion on the results and um, it's not as straightforward as I thought. Um, some assumptions are made and um, I also want to apologise to Spitfire pellets because actually as it turns out they perform pretty well in both guns. So what I'll do, I've just done this uh, pretty crude chart and I've listed the pellets from heavy to light going down so what I'll do, I'll get a picture of that and flash it up on screen. Um, and generally, um, if you look at the chart going down, generally that's in order of heaviest, as in most foot pounds, and less velocity. As the weight goes down, the velocity goes up, but the foot poundage goes down. Now that's very general, and again, this, isn't, this wasn't a very scientific test. To test it properly, you'd have to shoot six of each pallet and get an average, and, the, and then we're okay. But we thought this would just be a good, uh, a good starter. Um, so, on the Webley Raider PCP rifle, the 18 grain pellet delivered the most foot pounds. And looking at the chart, I would probably go with that particular gun, the 14.2 grain, which gave 11.98 foot pounds and 616 feet per second. And a close second for that would possibly be the Spitfires, which was 11.4 grain and done 11.83 foot pounds, 683 feet per second. So again, I think all this testing really, I think the gun you're using make a difference that, uh, and certain guns like certain pellets, so I think that would be a case of working out which pellet is best for your particular gun, uh, and that could vary between guns. Um, so that was the conclusion of the Webley Raider PCP test. Now, the Chinese Springer, again I'll list that again, I'll get a full flash up on screen. Um, didn't read the same. Again, I listed them in weight from heaviest to lowest, and the best performer was again. Um, well, I say again. Uh, that was a close second. A little. The best performer in the Springer rifle was the Spitfire pellet, which weighed 11.4 grains, and that delivered 8.46. And I'd done it twice, um, and then 8.58 foot pounds, 573 and 577 feet per second. So that was the lightest pellet delivered the most foot pounds so that was the opposite to the PCP now I'll put a, you know I'll, any of you guys out there who, who, who know a bit more than me about the laws of physics is it because the spring is more variable delivering the power uh, we know PCPs are quite consistent in their shot power maybe that's that um, but I'm going to do the test um, again with some 177 pistols a Springer and a CO2 powered pistol probably the PPQ and just to see if, if that is a, a spring thing against gas and, and just out of interest really to see um, how it works out with 177 pistols. I will also try when we get the PP700, uh, the SMK PCP pistol bag in action. Uh, we had a bit of a problem with that, we, we, we broke it. When that's fixed we'll show you, hopefully do a video, how we fixed it and, and what to do and um, we'll give that a test as well. So. Um, Looking at the spring, I'll put this chart up 
I, it appears almost backwards other than the 18 grain pallet pulled 7.63 foot pound but after that the chart more or less reads as the pallets get lighter the foot poundage go up which was near enough the opposite to the PCP which I found very interesting so um, I'll get these charts up uh, that's a conclusion like I say I weren't very scientific uh, if any of you guys out there can perhaps let us know any more info on this weight and velocity and pallets and all the rest of it I just find it very interesting but I think the average shooter the conclusion to draw from it all is test if you can get the use of a crony or know a friend who's got one or whatever um, get a wide range of weighted pallets all different brands and that as well because I think that can make a difference the shape of the pellets I think the Spitfires performed well because of the shape of them and they were pointed maybe I don't know like I say, I'm not an expert um, but like I said the conclusion to draw from it is try all different pellets where you can if you can get out of a crony or use one test it out and, and then more or less stick to that particular weight of pellet or even that brand to your particular gun uh, like I said I think with my PCP I'm probably going to go for the 14.2 grain so when I buy new pallets I will try different brands uh, stick around that way and I should get like um, good performance so that's that guys I'll flash the charts up see what you make of it um, if you can enlighten us on um, anything please do like I say this weren't very scientific and I uh, hope to be back soon um, catch you next time